So my topic of discussion is the area of faith walks and just how they may differ with different people. And, you know, there's a few rabbit trails I want to take. And the first point that I would like to make is that, of course, you get some people that are Christians that decide to follow the world. And so, you know, in that, they work on becoming financially successful and they push other people to do so. So anybody that has a faith walk, they're going to be overly critical with them because they're seeing them from the surface instead of from that place of faith. And there are a lot of Christians that don't have an idea or a clue of what faith walk is. And so that's uh, the point that I want to make as well is the fact that there are people that are like that and I know it for myself because I have been in that place where I was criticized and I still am criticized by some people in fact you know I was recently told about this lady that was at church who criticized me to a brother because I didn't have a physical job and this lady has never approached me she's never found out what God has said and you know she probably wouldn't even believe it in the first place sorry this cat keeps rubbing so you know you really can't talk to somebody like that because no matter what you say they're going to see things from an earthly standpoint they're going to see what you lack in this world and what you need to do to take care of it so unless these people get to that place to where they're walking in faith for themselves, then they're, they're not going to understand where you're coming from. So, you know, that's somebody that is, doesn't have a faith walk. But let's just, I want to talk about other people now that do have faith walks. Now, I have encountered uh, some people that have a faith walk, but they still hold on to the pattern of this world. They still believe in some ways that somebody needs to be financially successful, and they're going to push other people to while they are walking in faith. You know, you get some people that are like that. So the deeper your faith walk goes in, you know, there are some people that have stopped at a certain point in the faith walk to where they can't go any farther. Maybe they're afraid to, or, you know, maybe circumstances have caused them to sweat and the pressure got to them and they quit. So there may be some people that still operate in this world that, you know, they can only go so far in their faith. Now, It happens, but it shouldn't happen, that the fact that these people, you know, number one, do they hear from God? Or two, they don't hear from God, they were just led into walking by faith. Now, these people, if God has told you and given you explicit instructions about your faith walk, then that is for you, that's not for anybody else. So, somebody can't come up to me and say that I need to get a physical job because I know what God has told me. He told me to cease from working and to totally depend on Him. So somebody can't come up to me and tell me that my faith walk is wrong because that's what God instructed me to do. So I can't go to a brother and say, you need to walk in faith like me. What I would do is I would put out a test for them, you know, to see how deep they will go in their faith walk, what they will give up in order to fully walk in faith. Now, you you can easily fully walk in faith, but it depends on God's instructions. What does He want you to do? How far are are you willing to go in your faith walk, you know, to trust Him? There's, There's different levels, as I have learned, of trust in God. So it's up to you to know how far you want to go. I have been at that place to where, you know, I have no money coming in whatsoever. 
you know, my wife is a cosmetologist, and I am an author for, you know, writing these books for God. So I don't have money. You know, my wife has money coming in. So, you know, it's, it's getting into that place to where you learn to ask God for the things that you want. And it's so very easy to depend on me, and I have done that. So, you know, you have a choice there of either, you know, asking for God, asking God for what you need and wait, or you can ask other people. So, so you know, just to make my original point is that a brother can't come up to me and tell me that I need to be financially successful and walk in faith because those two things oppose each other. You know, you can't have one and the other. It's either or. You know, you can't serve God and mammon. So, uh, that brother who is walking in faith in his way, maybe he's received instructions from God in how he should walk. Well, those are instructions are for him, not for me. And so my instructions are for me, not for him. So, you know, maybe my faith walk would, you know, inspire somebody to want to walk the same way, you know, seeking God and trusting him. And maybe my brother's faith walk will inspire somebody else to do the same. But it all depends on hearing God and following his instructions. So I wanted to put that out there because that was just something that really bothered me is that you get some people out there that try to tell you that what you're doing for God is wrong when you know you've heard from God about that specific thing. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you for taking the time to watch